Today we're going to be starting the two and a half gallon refugium that's going to be tied into this 10 gallon innovative marine nouveau 10. What's up guys, I'm Cody Grates with Real Reefing TV, helping you save time, money, and frustration in the real reefing hobby, sharing my experiences and knowledge. And if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. Today we're going to be drilling the 2.5 gallon refugium that's tied into the 10 gallon Innovative Marine Nouveau Fusion 10 ridiculously long named nano tank. Now I've drilled five tanks in total, a 40 gallon breeder, 20 gallon long, a um, two 200 gallon tanks, and a 90 gallon. And I have never had any issues. Boy, I've had some issues with this one. And you're gonna learn what those issues are and how to resolve them in this video. So stay tuned for some tips on drilling your next aquarium. All right, so I got these glass drill bits. They are uh, they are diamond tipped, and they're hole saw bit. They're hole saws, and I got them off of Amazon, pretty inexpensively. There's a whole set of them, so should do the trick for what I need. Cause I wasn't exactly sure. I know there's charts online what you need for different bulkheads and things like that, but I have different bulkheads that I'm doing. Some half inch, some three quarter inch. Um, I think uh, some one inch. So just made sense to just get a whole package of them and um and for whatever i needed it for in the future to be able to drill holes in glass these would come in handy now to figure out the one that you need um you can you know get all specific with measurements and stuff like that but i do is take the take the bulkhead itself um this is the three quarter inch bulkhead and um and this is the part that's going to have to go through the glass so what do we need a hole hole that's bigger than that right so you take your Nope, yep, it just slides over there. That's perfect. There's not a whole lot of play. We can make sure that there's gonna be a flange all the way around it. And that one is the winner. All right, so let's get on this build. Let's do this. Let's go take this thing outside and get it, um, get it drilled out. All right, so a couple of things that you're gonna need for drilling a tank. You're gonna need, obviously, the hole saw bed. So we already talked about that. But you're gonna need access to water. Um, running water preferably. If you don't have running water, then you can get a, a little spray bottle and spray the area that you're drilling because you want to keep that glass and that drill bit cool. At any rate, um, you're going to need those two things. You're going to need a drill. Um, you're going to need a drill. And um, turn the drill on number two. That's going to make sure that it is running the fastest that it can. And um, yeah, let's get to drilling. I've never done that before. I've drilled five tanks? That's never happened. Well, <laughs> that's unreal. That is unreal. How stupid is that? Worthless. All right, let's go get another one. Sucks. Different hole saw. Oh, Alright, 
right, so I switched out with this Milwaukee one. This one should be pretty much the same way that other one is, where it's just enough for this to get through, which is ideally is a better um, thing anyways. <laughs> We're just gonna drill a second hole. We're just gonna do this. We're gonna do it with this, and we're just gonna use the other uh, other half inch one that we have in there. It'll be fine. Oh my god, shaking right now. I've never had that many issues. Also, when coming back with the third tank, I told my wife, and she's pretty pissed, mad. So, success. She said, why do you keep breaking tanks? They're not doing it on purpose. Anyways, boom, done, yeah. So I'm happy anyways, as you can see this guy right here, huh? We got it drilled third times the charm. So what did I learn from this? I learned I may or may not be as good as I thought I was at drilling tanks. Like I said, I've drilled like five tanks and never had any issues. 40 gallon breeders, the 20 gallon long that's underneath the tank. Um, as the refugium down there. I've drilled 200 gallon tanks before, actually two of them, both of my 200 gallon tanks, I drilled dual overflows for. I, I, I've never had an issue. I've never had a tank crack. And in this instance, I've had two tanks crack. Um, so what did I learn and what can I help you guys out with? Well, number one, when you are drilling, it's really important to go slow and take your time. Um, what's going to take you more time going and running back to the store two times to get new tanks or taking the extra five minutes instead of, uh, you know, and taking 10 minutes instead of five minutes when drilling the tank, what, what's going to take you more time. So go slow, let the, um, let the drill bit do the work for you. Try not to press, actually don't press, just let the weight of it go. If you're if you're working with a 200 gallon tank and you work with inch uh, or half inch thick glass, yeah, you can give it a little bit of pressure. Um, but what I've also learned is that with these small tanks, with this really really thin glass, it's really important just to go slow. It doesn't take that much time to get through. What is this? I don't know, an eighth of an inch of glass. Um, it doesn't take much time at all, and the and the weight of the drill basically did all the the pressure for me and go at a consistent rate keep water on it and try to keep it from jumping around one problem i did encounter was the um was without a pilot bit you saw that one pilot bit crunch through the glass so without the pilot bit on the other um on the amazon ones which did work fine by the way um some bits were better than other but what I found is that they'll walk around. So use the um, use this part of your I don't know hand, palm, whatever, right here. Um, with the water running, it won't um, it won't burn you or anything like that. Just kind of keep that as the guide to to hold the the hole saw steady. And then once it digs in a little bit, then you're good to go. Now you can release it and just work on drilling down through the glass. When you get to the end, 
very important not to press. In fact, you could probably let off the pressure a little bit and just keep going. When you get to the end, you'll probably have the glass break through a little bit and it will fall through, but you'll end up with some burrs here along the inside of the hole that you drilled. So what I did was I took the drill bit or the hole saw and just went through really slow to, uh, to bore it out and make sure that it's nice and smooth so that we can fit the bulkhead right through the glass, no problems. As far as sealing them up, what we're gonna do is we are going to take the, uh, the nut off and the flange side, the flat side, is gonna be on the inside of the, whoops, on the inside of the tank. And then um, along, with the, along with the gasket will also be on the inside of the tank. Very important that you have a gasket, otherwise this whole process isn't gonna work. So the gasket will be on the inside of the tank, will sit flush against the glass. When you were doing your drilling on the outside, and even if it walked around a little bit, it's gonna score the glass. If you put that gasket on the outside, that water could creep through those little channels and create leaks. But because on the inside of the glass, um, it wasn't it wasn't scratched up or anything like that, it's gonna be able to get a nice, um, firm seal on it. And then you wanna tighten this down. Just hand tighten. You definitely don't want these bulkheads to get pushed around because that can snap this glass as well. We basically only want it tightened down to the point that you know we don't have a leak anymore. So that's it for now. That's what it looks like, Mr. Happy Face. All right, guys, that's it. This one's drilled. We're ready to get it plumbed. See you in the next episode when we get the entire two and a half gallon refugium actually up and running. We get the mud added to it. Oh, did I say mud? And we get the mangroves in it and the Kato and the light and everything else. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime though, check out some videos right over here. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button right there. So keep it salty, my friends. I'm out. Later. Peace.